All right, good morning, evening, afternoon, whenever it is that you're watching this video. A few days back, I made a background video on Stoicism in which I talked about some of the major thinkers behind the movement, their major tenets, and at the time I promised a video in which we would use Stoicism to look at the current situation in March 2020 with the pandemic, the quarantine, and, and all of that, what Stoicism would say about the times in which we're living. So the first ten I talked about was the idea that philosophy has to be livable. It has to be something that we can actually apply to our daily lives. It can't just be fancy sounding words on a page. It can't just be some things that sound nice but not usable in practice. It has to actually be some, something that can guide our daily lives. Secondly was the idea of fatalism or fate. Um, a lot of your life is outside of your control. Um, your reputation, for example, the environment in which you were, you were born and raised, and even the quarantine right now, a lot of your life is outside of your control. The problem is that we oftentimes will suffer because we try to change those things that are outside of our control. What that therefore means is that our happiness is never within our control. And this is one of the reasons that people never find happiness. Instead, thirdly, Stoicism says that happiness is a choice. While we can't control a lot of our situations, we can control our thoughts, our judgments, our actions, essentially how it is that we respond to the things that are outside of our control. And then finally, an understanding that everything is temporary. The, the bad times that you're going through, whether it's a breakup, whether it's the loss of a loved one, whether it's life itself, or even this quarantine that we're going through, everything is temporary. On the same token, all of the positive things of your life, all the good times, all the exciting times, everything is temporary. It passes quickly. So what that means is that we should make the most of those situations because we're never going to get a chance to live them again. So make, we have to go through it anyway. We might as well make the most of it so that we can grow the most from it. With that in mind, Stoicism will look at our current quarantine and would say make the most of, of that time. There were a couple of researchers, Long and Avril, they wrote a book on solitude in which they talked about the benefits of solitude um, and what you can gain from it. And I've talked a lot about this in the past few months. And one of their major findings was that solitude can help you develop creativity that you otherwise would never have developed because living within a society, there's a lot of distractions, things that take us away from the things that we would otherwise be doing. And a lot of times, even the things that we should be doing. And so even though this quarantine, it's not a mountaintop, and even though it's not a, a, a park, both of which are still possible during the quarantine, it is a time though in which we've been kind of isolated in a sense and separated from the society that we usually find ourselves immersed in. So what can we do? Well, use the time, use the time. Um, our inability to be alone, um, Long and Avril talk about, is the reason that we a lot of times fail to develop our, our creativity. And so use this time now to develop your creativity. Also, very importantly, use the time to develop deep thoughts. Think about deep things. We can't really develop deep thoughts. In fact, we can't possibly develop great thoughts 20 seconds at a time, 30 seconds at a time. It takes prolonged thinking about things. And this isolation is an opportunity to do that. So again, we can't control the isolation, but we can control our thoughts about it how it is that we frame it, our judgments about it, and we can control what we do within it, our actions within it. So make the absolute most of the time that you have here right now because it is temporary. It will pass. Whether you waste the time, it'll pass. Whether you maximize the time, it will pass. It will be much better in this situation and every other situation in your life that you go through to be able to come out on the other end and legitimately be able to say, I'm better on this side of the, of the occurrence, the tragedy, the good time, the bad time, whatever, than I was on this side, the beginning of it. So make the most of it. Make the most of your time. So um, questions, comments, concerns, complaints, criticisms, critiques, as always, in the comments section down below. I'm trying to keep these videos short, which for those of you who know me, is a hell of a thing for me to try to do, but I'm working on it. So um, be well, be safe. And I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye.